Welcome to the third video in Sonics' three-part series on valve body vacuum testing. I'm Jim Dial, here to demonstrate this easy and effective technique for diagnosing problem transmissions. So far, we've covered why vacuum testing is a great tool for any shop and how to properly set up and calibrate the Sonics vacuum test stand kit. Now I'm going to show how to vacuum test so that you can identify the source of problems and make the right repairs. Before we get started testing, turn on a 3 CFM vacuum pump and make sure that the test stand is calibrated. We went through this process in the last video, so right now all you need to do is connect the flexible tubing to the calibration port. First verify the minimum reading is 5 inches. If that's okay, check the maximum reading by putting your finger over the 35 thousandths orifice bleed. The gauge should read 25 inches when the orifice is closed off. If either of these gauge values are off, fine-tuning the adjustment knobs will correct this. And by the way, it's a good idea to check the calibration on a daily basis since changes in weather and atmospheric pressure can affect these readings. Once the test stand is calibrated, take the flexible tube out of the calibration port and insert it into the push-to-connect fitting on the test plate. And be sure it's pushed in all the way. Let's begin by vacuum testing a 5 or 55S valve body in a couple of locations which we know are the source of some common transmission problems. Take high or low line pressure, which is typically connected to an issue in the pressure regulator valve lineup. As you can see, the Sonics vacuum test guide shows the location of the PR valve with some of the worm tracks filled in red. The red passage are the critical wear areas and locations to vacuum test. A list of common complaints associated with these areas is listed below the valve's name. Sonics has a variety of guides like this available for free online at sonics.com, but you also can use your own knowledge of wear locations to identify the best place to vacuum test. Okay, let's see if this PR valve and bore are worn enough to cause a pressure problem. I'm going to take the test plate with the rubber pad attached and place it on top of the valve body casting making sure that it completely covers the circuit area highlighted in red on the guide. At the same time, I need to leave the neighboring port uncovered so that the vacuum pump has a cavity to draw air from. Otherwise, we will create a perfect seal and accidentally get a false high reading of 25 inches. You'll notice I'm using a rubber pad, which is a cleaner and quicker alternative to assembly lube. The area I'm checking is the balance side of the valve because wear here will cause a lot of pressure-related symptoms. The reading here is near 22 inches, which is good. It means there is not much wear and this valve and bore aren't causing any problems. Where else can we check this 5 or 55S for wear? The vacuum test guide shows the TCC modulator valve lineup with some common complaints related to TCC slip codes. Let's vacuum test this valve train then. These two ports read around 18 and 19 inches. These readings are not as high as 22, but could be acceptable when compared to other 5 or 55S valve bodies with lower readings. The Sonics vacuum test stand can be used to diagnose more than valve bodies and pumps. With the 5 or 55S, for instance, we might have a PO732 or a PO735 trouble code and worn servo bores. The servo apply and release passages can be vacuum tested to verify if the servo bores are worn and the bonded servo pistons have a good seal. It's always a good idea to record vacuum test results. Building a testing profile for specific valve bodies will help you establish your own pass-fail standards aligned with your customer's needs and shop warranty requirements. Just like Sonic's vacuum test guides, test result sheets are available free online in the tech resources area of sonics.com. It can be printed out for a quick reference on the bench or downloaded and stored on a computer. Each sheet can track readings of up to 10 valve bodies enough to give you solid criteria for evaluating vacuum test results. Let's vacuum test a 4L60E pump cover and valve body, as this transmission has also had similar complaints connected to line pressure problems and TCC slip codes. The Sonics vacuum test guide shows the pressure regulator valve located in the pump. I'm going to test the balance side of the valve like we did on the 5 or 55S. 
Notice that there is a dotted line and testing note on the vacuum test guide. Seal the valve orifice with pencil eraser. The balance side of the valve will not vacuum test correctly unless this is done. The vacuum reading is around 12 inches, which means repetitive valve movement has created too much wear. This excessive clearance between the valve and the bore leads to pressure problems. Next, we can test the PR boost valve and sleeve. Note that the test guide says to seal the orifice on the back of the pump. The reading here is 15 inches, indicating the boost valve and sleeve will need to be replaced. Fortunately, the vacuum test guide shows me exactly what Sonic's parts are needed to solve the root cause of this problem. The guide gives part numbers for the PR valve lineup and the tool kits, which are required if the board needs to be reamed so oversized valves can be installed. Another big problem with these units are a P1870 or P0894 code connected to TCC slip. The troublemaker here is a TCC regulator valve, and the vacuum test guide shows there are two areas which should be tested. The first is the inboard end, which tests at 10 inches, and the second is the outboard end, which tests at 16 inches. These low vacuum readings can cause the trouble codes from a loss of TCC apply pressure. Part numbers for the Sonics TCC regulator valve and toolkit are provided on the vacuum test guide, as this is the preferred repair for this problem. The outdated method of blocking the TCC regulator valve often leads to torque converter clutch failure and even instances of cooler lines popping out of their fittings. We hope that this video series has been informative and has helped you understand the benefits of vacuum testing. It's an easy, effective, and reliable diagnostic technique for verifying valve body integrity both before and after repairs that anyone can do themselves right in the shop. There's nothing like the peace of mind that comes from knowing a transmission was fixed right the first time and will stay out on the road. To view, print, or download free Sonix vacuum test guides and data sheets, visit the tech resources area at sonix.com. If you have questions about vacuum testing or how to use the test stand kit, our tech support team is happy to help. Give us a call at 800-843-2600 or email info at sonics.com anytime.